Your city council meeting for the Mesa City Council for December the 11th. All of our council are present and accounted for. Uh, we will begin our meeting tonight with a moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance uh, that will be led by Councilmember Chris Glover, who I'm reminded is a Eagle Scout. We were worried about, about the lack of a Scout today, but he, he fits both, both requirements. Uh, so please uh, rise and join me for a moment of silence followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. Mr. Glover. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> Thank you. Uh, the first item, item on our agenda for this meeting is to take action on the consent agenda, so I'd invite Mr. Kevin Christopher to come forward and read the consent agenda. Mr. Christopher. Good evening, Mayor and Council Members. These are the items on the consent agenda. All items listed with an asterisk will be considered as a group by the City Council and will be enacted with one motion. There will be no separate discussion unless a Council Member or Citizen request, in which event the item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered as a separate item. If a citizen wants an item removed, a blue card must be completed and given to the City Clerk prior to the Council's vote on the consent agenda. Item 2, approval of minutes of previous meetings as written. Item 3A, act on liquor license application for the Elizabeth May Eddy Organization one day event, Sunday, December 31st, 918 West Southern Avenue. Item 3B, act on liquor license application for All Saints Roman Catholic Parish, Knights of Columbus. One day event, Saturday, January 6th, 1534 North Wrecker Road. Item 3C, act on liquor license application for Gabby's, 635 North Country Club Drive. Item 3D, act on liquor license application for Restaurant Fiesta Bar and Grill at Dobson Ranch Inn, 1666 South Dobson Road. Item 3E, act on liquor license application for That Time Kitchen, 1649 South Stapley Drive. Item 4A, act on one-year renewal term contract for meals for the Police Department Holding Facility. Item 4B, act on 41-month term contract for parts and services to support the closed-circuit TV system for the police department. Item 4C, act on three-year term contract for elevator vertical trans transportation unit maintenance for the Parks, Recreation, and Community Facilities Department. Item 4D, act on three-year term contract for transportation landscape maintenance and refurbishment services as requested by the Transportation Department. Item 4E, act on contract to purchase a replacement street striping trailer for the Transportation Department as requested by the Fleet Services Department. Item 4F, act on contract to purchase two lift trucks, one replacement for the Parks, Recreation, and Community Facilities Department, and one addition for the Water Resources Department as requested by the Fleet Services Department. Item 4G, act on one-month contract extension of the term contract, biosolids removal and reuse disposal services for the Water Resources Department. Item 4H, act on one-year renewal contract for insecticidal coatings for manhole and sewer cleanouts for the Water Resources Department. Item 4I, act on one-year renewal contract for water and wastewater vertical turbine pump repair for replacement for the Water Resources Department. Item 4J, act on one-year renewal contract for trench shoring safety equipment rental services for the Water Resources and Energy Resources Departments. Item 4K, act on contract to upgrade purchase of Microsoft Windows 10 user-based licenses for city departments as requested by the Information Technology Department. Item 4L, act on contract to purchase information technology and communications equipment for the Signal Butte Water Treatment Plant as requested by the Information Technology Department. Item 4M, act on contract for Eagles Park Phase 2, Broadway and Horn. This project is funded by the 2012 Authorized Parks Bonds, Neighborhood Stabilization Program Federal Housing Grants, Community Development Block Grant Federal Housing Grants, Local Street Sales Tax, and a grant from the Arizona Sports and Tourism Authority. Item 4N, act on contract for Gilbert Road Light Rail Extension, city-funded wastewater improvements. Item 4O, act on contract for Central Arizona Project Raw Water Pipeline, guaranteed maximum price number two. Funding's available from the 2014 Authorized Water Bonds, Highway User Revenue Fund, and the 2013 Street Bonds. Item 5A, act on resolution regarding ZON 17-00170, the 1300 block of South Power Road located south of Southern Avenue on the east side of Power Road. Site plan review for development of a pad site in a previously approved commercial center. 
Item 5B, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing the City Manager to enter into a reimbursable grant agreement with the ADOT Multimodal Planning Division Aeronautics Group for an airport master plan update for Falcon Field Airport. The FAA will fund most of the cost. The remainder will be the shared responsibility between the city and ADOT. The city's portion will be funded from the Falcon Field Airport Enterprise Fund. Item 5C, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing the City Manager to enter into a development agreement for reimbursement with Crisman Development LLC for reimbursement for regional off-site street, street lighting, and storm drain improvements in conjunction with a proposed multifamily development known as Crisman Estates, 9740 East Hampton Avenue. Item 5D, Act on Resolution Approving and Authorizing the City Manager to enter into a development agreement for reimbursement with PCS ADG LLC and PCS Holdings LLC for reimbursement for regional street, street lighting, and landscaping improvements in conjunction with a proposed multifamily development known as the Premier Dana Park. 1439 South Velvis to Drive. Item 5E, Act on Resolution, modifying fees and charges for the Mesa Fire and Medical Department relating to the responses for false alarms and damaged gas lines. Item 5F, Act on Resolution, approving and authorizing the city manager to enter into an intergovernmental agreement with Mesa Unified School District Number 4 for the shared use of city and school district facilities for city and district activities. Item 5G, Act on Resolution, approving and authorizing the city manager to enter into a lease agreement with CycleHop LLC for the use of city-owned property at 1340 West University Drive. Item 5H has been removed from the consent agenda. Item 6A, introduction of ordinance regarding ANX 17-00442. De-annexing de property in the 5200 block of East Inverness Avenue on the south side. This is located north of Baseline Road and east of Higley Road. Item 6B, introduction of ordinance regarding Z17-044, the 1300 through 1400 blocks of West Main Street, located west of Alma School Road on the north side of Main Street. Modification of the bonus intensity zone overlay, council use permit, and site plan. This request will allow the development of a multi-residence development in the NC zoning district with potential commercial services. Item 6C, introduction of ordinance regarding ZON 17-00260, the 6500 block of East McKellips Road on the south side and the 1900 block of North 66th Street on the west side. This is located west of Power Road on the south side of McKellips Road. A rezone and site plan review to allow for development of a retail office building. Item 7A, act on ordinance replacing the current traffic barricade manual, which is a combination of the City of Phoenix's 2007 traffic barricade manual and a 2011 Mesa supplement with a Mesa-specific manual entitled City of Mesa Temporary Traffic Control Manual, 1st Edition. Item 7B, act on ordinance amending Title 10, Section 10, Temporary Traffic Control of the Mesa City Code to rename the Traffic Barricade Manual to Temporary Traffic Control Manual. Item 8A, act on subdivision plat, Mesa Senior Living, the 6500 block of East Brown Road, located west of Power Road, on the north side of Brown Road. And item 8B, act on subdivision plat, Clearview Business Park, 1529 South Clearview Avenue, located east of the northeast corner of Power Road and US 60, on the east side of Clearview Avenue. Mayor and Council Members, these are the items on the consent agenda. Thank you, Mr. Christopher. Uh, Ms. Mickelson, have there been any requests to speak on any item on the consent agenda? Okay, thank you. That being the case, I note that Mr. Freeman has made the motion and Mr. Luna has seconded it for approval of the consent agenda. Please vote. The vote is unanimous in favor of the consent agenda. We do have one item off of the consent agenda. That is item 5H. Uh, just so everyone knows what it is we're talking about, I'll read the short paragraph that describes this. It's... Uh, Item 17-1318, approving and authorizing the city manager to enter into a power purchase agreement with Amoresco, Inc. for the purchase and sale of electrical power through the finance, design, installation, operation, and maintenance of a solar equipment structure located at the Mesa Art Center, providing power for Mesa's electric utility. Uh, we have discussed this item previously in our study session and in a few study sessions previously. So I'm not sure that it's necessary to have a staff presentation, but I know there is some council, uh, perhaps some council comments to be made. Council, any, anything you'd like to share on this item prior to a vote? Mr. Whitaker. I'll just uh, reiterate my comments downstairs that uh, this is a cost of $126,000 a year that we lose on this project, given our current utility rates paid at the Art Center at three cents a kilowatt hour and the new rate at uh, 14.5 cents. It's on, right? Yes. Thank you. I apologize. Thank you, Mr. Whitaker. 
Uh, any additional comments on this item? Uh, I think I, I made my comments previously uh, downstairs as well, so I don't, I don't want to belabor this, but in, from my perspective, I think what we're, it, it might not be, it's not fair, I think, to compare the rates that we're charging, that, uh, that we're paying for the electric, at the, sol the green solar energy that we're paying for this facility, because what we're doing is, what we need to measure it against is, is whether or not we own this electric generating facility ourselves, or we shift the, the, uh, the, the cost and the, uh, the risk associated with that to an outside vendor. Uh, if it was just a matter of finding the, the, the least expensive route for green energy, yes, there's a cheaper way to do this. But this is more than a solar energy producing facility. This is a parking structure. And the question just becomes, do we want to put solar panels on top of the parking structure or not? And if so, do we want to build it and operate it ourselves or not? Uh, and so that's the cost analysis that I think we've gone through that and uh, Mr. Whitaker raises some excellent points that uh, I hope uh, and I and I expect that our that our city utility will in the future become more robust in the way that we uh, generate and sell uh, solar energy when I speak to groups particularly young groups groups of young people rather this is a question that comes up very frequently the, the public wants us to be more engaged and, and more sustainable in the way that we generate electricity. So I think what this is, to me, this is more making a statement on a, in a high profile building in our downtown on this parking garage, uh, demonstrating our commitment to solar energy. Yes, there's, there's less expensive ways to, to buy solar produced power, but, uh, but I think this is, in spite of that, I think this sends a great message and it's a relatively s uh, small facility and, and uh, so I feel good about it. Any additional comments, council? I probably said more than I should there, but uh, if you almost made me want to say something. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't provoke Mr. Freeman to having to weigh in on that. Uh, there is a motion that's been made by Mr. Luna, Luna and seconded by Mr. Glover. Uh, please cast your vote. Boy, my electricity. Speaking of solar energy. <laughs> I'm trying. I am. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm pushing my button, but it's not working. Can I we? Plug your button. Is that what happened? <laughs> there, there, there must be a cloud over the solar panel for the mayor's button right now. Uh, can you show what the votes are? Okay. That being the case, uh, council, just uh, all in favor of this motion, please say aye. 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 Those opposed? Nay. Thank you, Mr. Whitaker. The motion passes uh, six to one. The next item on our agenda is items from citizens present. Ms. Mickelson, have there been any requests to speak? No requests. Thank you. That being the case, I would entertain a motion to adjourn, Council. Thank you, uh, Mr. Glover, Mr. Thompson. All in favor, please say aye. 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 We are adjourned. <laughs>